Shannon, what is the biggest reason the Lakers won that series versus the Warriors? <laughs> I was hitting in my high Friday, just watching. I said, you know what? So I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. I feel pretty good, Skip. Mm. I don't know why. Can you? I want you to answer me this, Skip. Mm. You can help me out, then I'm going to go. Mm. Why would the Golden State Warriors reveal that Andrew Wiggins got fractured cartilage in his... What they think LeBron going to do? What did LeBron do the first day? He said, I'm going to the basket. I'd say. I'm going to bump, I'm going to bang, and see if you, want, if you want to grind like this. Yep, I agree. I wouldn't have said nothing. Hey, Andrew Wiggins is a game-time decision. With what? Oh, he got a cough. But I'm not going to tell you he got bruised ribs or, or, or something in his, in his sternum. I'll buy that. Because what you think LeBron's going to do? LeBron just bump a card and bump a card in. Skip, I told you he was due. Um, you mentioned it was 18. It's been 18 playoff games since he last broke the 30-point plateau. Yep. He was sensational. He couldn't play, I mean, 10 or 14. He did what you want to do. He shot the three ball. He didn't shoot a ton of three. Well, but he took three. He made two. That'll work. Boom. Yes. Got to the free throw line. Shot a good percentage there. Yep. He was great in every area. Anthony Davis, man. Uh, AD only took, what, nine shots? Had had 17 points, 20 rebounds. Yep. Uh, Austin Reeves was great. Lonnie Walker. <sighs> hit, whew, Lonnie Walker done found a role. Lonnie Walker ain't, ain't going back to the bench. He done took Troy Brown Jr. and Malik Beasley, excuse me. Yeah. He done took their role mm. in Austin Reeves. Get what can I say? I mean, mm. I, Austin Reeves done played himself into a $20 million year man. Yeah. It's really that simple. That shot skipped the shot that he hit right before the half. It was something. It, that, I can you just imagine. He, he shot that like he, he, he believed did. he was going to make it, and he swished it. He didn't backboard it. You know why? Because a lot of guys are afraid to shoot that shot because, Skip, it's going to mess up my percentage. <laughs> that percentage is not very high that that ball's going to go in. No. All the reason, I don't give a damn. Yeah. There, there's, I got a 50-50 chance. Guess what? It won't go in if I don't shoot it. Yeah. Shot it, boom, and they didn't look back. Uh, Steph, Steph was okay, but nobody else could, could do anything. Clay didn't have it that night. Dray, the likelihood of Draymond putting together another game like he had in game six, the likelihood of giving Andrew Wiggins status with his uh, ribs, putting together another game like he did game six, and for whatever reason, game six, Clay never appeared. <laughs> Clay did, I'm Clay. Steph did what he could, but it was just too much Lakers, Skip. Yeah. They were dominant. Anthony Davis was dominant again. LeBron was LeBron. And the role players, the Austin Reeves, the, uh, the D-Lo, the Lonnie Walkers, yeah. they came in and played extremely well. Mm. I, was, I was very, very pleased with what I saw. Mm. And guess what? They didn't have to go at game seven. They get an opportunity to get off their feet because yeah. they got a daunting task ahead of them. The Nuggets are legit. <sighs> I'd say they are legit. By the way, that stuff, I, I'm, I'm getting strong yeah, odor over here. Yeah, little, little, little right here, little Ooh. something. The, the water doesn't tell it down a little bit, but. Really? Yeah, I, I can it's smell it all the way across the table. I, I can even smell it on your breath. And so I, I'm going to offer you, I'm, I, you want me to take you home today? Yeah, you, you may take me home. You may take me home. Right. I'm going to call Uber. Right. I, I, you got Uber app? I do have I ain't got no Uber app. app. Yeah. I ain't got no Lyft app. I ain't got no apps on my phone. Really? No. Well, you're like Joel. You have no lift. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. The first thing that struck me about this game, uh, let me start with your guy, because that is truly the, the story of the night. He was great. Under the circumstance, you can't ask much more from him, because I love the blueprint of it, because from jump, from tip, he was committed to taking the ball to the basket. Yeah. Because I don't care how old he is, I don't know how, I, I don't care how many years he's played, this man is still virtually unstoppable when he decides to put his head down and take it to the basket. He's always said, I don't have the greatest handle. I, I think he has a very good handle. He is ambidextrous, born left-handed, can play right-handed and left-handed. I'm just telling you, this is a force of nature going to the basket. And once he showed Golden State, I am dead serious about this. This time, no, no more of that bull jiving that you <laughs> saw in game five. None of the nine threes no, and no, all that. We're not doing that tonight. <laughs> I, I'm going to be efficient from three because I'm only going to take three. And as we just pointed out, he made two. And they're huge. They're, they're psychologically debilitating to the, to the team that invented the three-point shot mm -hmm. for, for all purposes. And yet... Speaking of that team, Shannon, this is what struck me as the second story. Would you believe that combined on that night, 
Steph and Clay had the combined worst shooting night of their entire postseason careers together. Wow. Together, because they missed 33 shots total, and from three, they missed 20. So they were, j just to frame it for you, okay, so Clay, he, he wasn't game six Clay, he was game deep six Clay, because right. he was deep six, because yes. he went three of 19 and two of 12 yeah. from three. He played like he was made of clay. That is correct. He couldn't miss. Feet of clay, yeah. as they say. Steph was 11 of 28, so he had a, he made a few baskets, but he was only 4 of 14. This is the man who revolutionized the three-point right. shot that we all proclaim as the greatest shooter ever. Right. Okay, so they combined to go 6 of 26 from three. That was tied for their second most total wow. misses. That That's 20 misses, 20 miss threes, tied right. for the second most in their career. Right. And then from two, or from total... Two and three, 14 of 47. That's 33 missed shots. It's a lot of missed shots. Yes. If you put them all together, you can't find in their entire playoff dynastic run that the two combined to shoot this bad. Because usually the odds are it's going to be one, one or the or other. The other. And one if, might shoot bad, but the other can carry them. Yes. And if they both get hot, it's over. you're done. You're cooked. Yeah. Okay. So y you benefited from that. And y you actually so much benefited from that that. You lost the backboards. You 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 lost 53 to 46. And just for the record, just for the big picture of this, you actually got out rebounded by Golden State, small little Golden State. It's mostly because of Kevon Looney. Right. But th they out rebounded you by 24 rebounds in six games. So so that wasn't that wasn't where you were bludgeoning them. Right. You were bludgeoning them because you just attacked the basket right. and you were you were out free throw them. Yeah, you're getting fouled. Hey, but Skip Skip here like, oh, the ref, the refs. Did you realize that the the the, uh, the Warriors shoot the least amount of free throws, but they foul the most? They do. Because they're right. small. And so when someone's big yep. and play to their size yes. and not play down to their size, okay. that's what they do. They foul and put you on the free throw line. So the magic stat from Friday night was. Golden State managed to shoot 14 free throws and make 10, which is not very good. Y you shot, is this possible, 42 three free throws, and you made 31, 31 of 42. It's not a great percent, but you yeah. made so you, you, made you so shot many so many, and you made, so, you, it was 31 to 10 at the free throw line. Right. Okay, well, guess what? You're, you're going to win. That's your margin of victory. It is. That's exactly <laughs> your margin of victory. Okay, so I'm going to say this one more time because I believe in it. I still don't think Rob Polinka gets enough credit. He doesn't. He turned this team upside down right. on its head. I, I started thinking about it late Friday night. In all my time covering the NBA, I cannot remember a, a general manager turning a team around on the fly so quickly and so, so completely as he did, and it was by addition and subtraction right. because they he got out from under us. Because they were dead in the water, Skip. They were and, 13 out of 15 teams in the and, West. And and we all talked about they're stuck with Russ. Then he gets out from under us. It cost him one of those future right. picks, the first one, the 27 mm -hmm. first-round pick. Okay, it's top five protected. Right. Maybe it'll come back to haunt you. Right. But if you go win this championship, it won't. It and won't if I'm not mistaken, Skip, I think by the time when they may first made the trade, LeBron wasn't there. He was injured. Remember with the foot. That is correct. Okay. So they had to learn. They had to win games without LeBron, and yeah. then learn how to play with LeBron. Who's like he's like I was watching to see. Okay, he likes the ball there. This is what he liked. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And so it was. It, 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 it was. It was a tremendous reclamation project, it was. and he does it. But that's just because people don't really like Rob. They don't f with Rob. That, like they that. don't. No. Okay. I got it. And he's taken such a beating in the past. I I yeah. get it. But he's not getting enough credit because Le even that. LeBron said after the. Game, yeah, we we were we were just one paraphrase, but he said we were just waiting for the right pieces to fall into place around AD and and right. me, mm -hmm. and they did. They did. And Rui has been a godsend. Yeah. And Austin Reeves didn't come now, but listen, I'm going to say it again about Austin Reeves. In all my life of watching basketball, <laughs> I've never seen a guy who was a poor three point. Sh I watched him mm -hmm. two years at Oklahoma. Trust me, I saw none of this. Mm -mm. Not this. Right. He, he was a good college player, but he wasn't anything yeah, he'd have like been, He'd have been a lottery pick. If he play, if he'd hey. have played in college like you play right now, he'd have right. been a lottery pick. Well, he's going to hit the lottery. Yeah, he, he is going right? to hit the lottery. But, Skip, one of the best things to happen is that when LeBron was out, he got inserted into the starting lineup. He did. And it gave him confidence. You saw the way he... Uh, uh, 35 points. He had a 28, 27-point game, and it gave him confidence because yeah. LeBron always had confidence in him because, you mm -hmm. know, now, Skip, he handles the ball. 
LeBron is LeBron. primarily exclusively yeah. off the ball. And, and LeBron complete, you can just see in his body language, he trusts Trust he this does. kid to make the right play. And this kid will put his head down and attack oh, he because he is completely fearless. I'll tell you what he will. He attack Steph Curry. He Anytime he saw Steph Curry, his eyes looked like you. it was Christmas. Yeah, no, I, I got you. And he has turned himself into a very good three-point shooter. Yes, just, I think he shot like 47% in the series. Yeah, well, he just made four out of five, including the bomb on, yeah. on Friday night. So all of a sudden, this team has come together. And I, I do remember Snoop was talking about the other day when we had him on, that they have like a college rah-rah attitude to them where yes. everybody's up on the bench. It's the flip side of what I saw from Philadelphia because right. they got none of this. But you know what, Skip? What did uh, UC Darvin Ham do? Game five, uh, game, what did he do? Game six, he put Schroeder into the starting lineup. He did. Vando went to the bench. Okay. And I don't know what you thought about this. You thought uh, Schroeder should have been ejected. I don't know. He he started it, and then Draymond kind of finished it by sticking the ball. Yeah, come on, man. How you so, no, so wild for, dude? I, I, I ref, am I supposed to eat the ball? Okay. Just, just go ahead and take that one on the chin. Can you see the man got the... Okay, I'm old school with this. I I, I, I would have just... Play, let him play all just, that. Just, hey, let, let y'all cut that food inside. Just, just stop it. Just, just <laughs> yeah, somebody yeah. jump in, Scott Foster, somebody. Just right. jump in and say, okay, that's enough. Yeah. Stop it. When Draymond started skipping, you remember uh, Schroeder tried to throw a pass behind his back and it went out of bounds. <laughs> and Draymond said something <laughs> to him. I'm like, get him out of here. He effing up. Right. And so when Draymond threw the ball away, Schroeder went and looked back. Okay. You, you did that? So they, right. made, they, were, just... they were going back and forth. All right. That, that's over-officiating. Yeah. Me. I agree. I agree. Lakers Nuggets, game one, gentlemen, tomorrow night going to be fun. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.